The Porn Trap. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, and I'm here to describe to you how porn traps you, how you're able to get trapped, and most importantly, how you can free yourself from the trap of porn. So stay with me till the end so I can give you your brain hack strategy for the day. All right, let's dig in. So how in fact does porn trap you? Now, if you've been caught up in a pornography habit for any amount of time, you know that that habit started when you were young. Likely it started in adolescence or in your early teen years. So at that point in your life, your brain is much more neuroplastic and impressionable. And so you find this thing that makes your brain feel better than ever. What porn does is it creates this dopamine deluge, a flood of dopamine into your system, and it makes you feel better than you've ever felt before, especially at that young age. And so what happens is, especially if your life is difficult, if there's trauma, if there's family dysfunction, which just about everybody has, your world can be difficult, and then you find this thing that gives you this drug-like feeling and takes you away from the difficulties of your real life. That's how porn traps you in the first place. So what it does is it drips dopamine into your brain and then it gives it this dopamine deluge. Unfortunately, what it does is it plants the seeds of addiction at that point and it makes it so there's a dopamine deficit in your life from that point forward. What I mean by that is your brain gets taught that all the feel good feelings from dopamine are in the screen in porn and that there's no good feelings out there in the real world where it may have been challenging in the first place. So it creates a feedback loop a never-ending vicious cycle, cycle that keeps you stuck in porn, trapped in porn. It creates dopamine deficit in your world, drips when you think about watching porn that make you start to feel good, the deluge that takes you away from the reality, the drowning in dopamine where you're so flooded with it that you don't even think about your real world anymore until, unfortunately, when you've been out of the screen, that deficit creeps back in and your life stinks. And it's all created by the trap. Now, if you've ever seen Percy Jackson, if you remember the scene, what a great movie, right? Percy Jackson, I hear they're remaking it for the next gen, as they should, because it's such a good movie. But there's a scene when Percy and his friends are in a casino and they're eating lotus flowers and it keeps them stuck in the casino and it's got them distracted from their mission and their purpose and it has them feeling good until Percy figures out that if they keep eating the lotus flowers that it will keep them stuck in this vicious loop. And he has to figure it out and then commit to not eating the lotus flower so that he can move on out of that scene into becoming the hero of his own journey and solving the issues at hand and creating the life that he wants to. So of course, this is exactly what I want for you. You're eating the lotus flowers, my friend. I know it feels okay, it feels great in the moment. And you might even have a notion that this is keeping you stuck in this never ending casino all night long loop and it's time to leave the casino. It's time to stop eating the lotus flowers and it's time to get on purpose in your real life because as Percy discovers and you'll discover, yeah, it might be tricky leaving that casino and getting back into the real world, but it's worth it. Living an authentic life, being you, the real you, the one that you want to be, finding intimacy and love and healthy, awesome, funky sex in the real world, that's what life is about. Not being a fourth wall observer, watching a fake performance to give your brain this unhealthy flood and drowning of dopamine that in fact is damaging your brain and ruining your life. All right. That's how porn traps you. How is it that you can get trapped? This is number two today. You're young. Your brain 
is pliable the first time you've seen porn. Life is difficult. If you struggle with ADHD, if you have trauma, if you have anxiety, that brain is existing out here in what I call the pendulum effect. It's the perfect brain pattern that wants the dopamine, wants it bad. So when you get it, it feels even better to you. And especially when you're young, your brain wants that. It wants to feel good. So most people upon first exposure, and especially in today's day and age with high-speed internet pornography, their brains get hooked. The porn industry is not blind to this. This is how they are feeding their multi-billion dollar industry, by getting people hooked and keeping them hooked. That is a solid business strategy, but unfortunately, it's harming you. So let's move to number three. How do you get out of the trap? You've got to stop eating the lotus flowers. You have to create a strong plan to stay out of the screen and a strong plan to find dopamine, the feel good, the pleasure neurochemical, but also serotonin, the happiness neurochemical, and oxytocin, the connection neurochemical. Find that in the world and you won't need to go back into the screen. In today's day and age, so many of us have inauthentic living. We don't even know what we want anymore, never mind how to go get it. So figuring out who you really are, who the people are that are important in your world, and how you can create the life that you love so you won't have to escape from it, that's the secret sauce so you can stay out of the screen forever. Okay, I hope this helps you out. And if you're looking for help on the journey, please reach out, drtrishlee.com. My team and I would absolutely love to help you get out of the screen, get on purpose, enjoy your relationships, your work, your hobbies, and rock out your best life. So I hope to see you in our program. And until then, control your brain or it'll control you.